Google terrorists. His declarations before members of the Bilingualism Commission left no one indifferent. Honorable Polino Sto Joa took on the rostrum and told the Peter Mafani Musonge led commission that the Anglophone problem, which has been aggravated by English speaking elites who are part of the government, has nothing to do with bilingualism or multiculturalism. The former SDF MP for Boyo Division said that outright refusal by the regime of President Paul Bia to recognize the come together of two separate entities and respect the legal terms binding them together explains why the crisis is getting worse by day. The other phone problem is what we have before us. Can you address it like the other phone problem? Let us stop deceiving ourselves in this country where a people freely to meet their brothers who were already independent so that we could form one country and see how we could forge ahead to live a better place for our where there's so much arrogance on the part of the few who are chopping fat on the resources of this country where there's marginalization the former MP recalled that those brandished as nationalists and freedom fighters today were described as terrorists decades ago by the government of Cameroon. I was so glad the other day on the 20th of May watching television when I saw sons of terrorists at the, at the Unity Palace. The sons of Omnyome and uh, NS1 who yesterday were terrorists by the definition of the government of the day. Honorable Polinus Joa told the Bilingualism Commission to press for the release of Anglophone leaders, bring all the stakeholders, even those in the diaspora on board, before initiating a dialogue. Mr. Chairman, the political prisoners, people who have moved from Boyabamena to Supercourts in Yaoube, and imprisoned Siseko and Ko, I don't know, maybe I'll give you a mission. To produce, them, to produce those people. Maybe if you can just show us a photograph of this commission with our leaders from Nigeria. Mr. Chairman, I will give you cut cut that you love so well. <laughs> so we are calling on you to give peace a chance. Call that inclusive dialogue. That inclusive dialogue has to be going to include all of our brothers and sisters who are in the diaspora. All of them. The Bilingualism Commission is done with the Listen to the People mission and the outcome of their series of outings are still awaited.